so we landed in Singapore. Yay! About time. 13 so, hours down. Four hour stopover, then we're flying to For like another Manila. three and a half hours. But we've made it 13 hours and that's the longest part. So now we're going to go to the butterfly garden that's here. Yeah, show us stuff. So let's see what this is like. Butterfly garden, quite cool in the airport. Uh, you don't really expect that, and I've never seen anything like that before. What did you think, George? Seems very humid, though. Yeah, like we were sweating. See, it's 28 degrees outside, though. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're just chilling because we've got a lot of time to wait. Well, not a lot, like four or five hours. I'm just catching up on Love Island. George's doing some editing. I'm gonna edit some photos to put on Instagram and then just chill. We've looked around a little bit. We do need another laptop bag, laptop bag because we only have one and we've got both our laptops. The bag's quite heavy, um, but they're all expensive in the airport. So we're gonna wait till we get to maybe Manila and look around the shopping malls there for one. But other than that, it's great. Um, so we are just waiting for the sky train to our terminal uh, the gates not open yet but we know what we know what gate it is we're gonna look for a, hopefully a McDonald's or some sort of food because I'm starving yeah, same. and then we're getting on a sky train so we'll let you know how that goes I think it's just next a normal train to be honest oh. the next one is in two minutes Hotel. 
Keep your words out. Nah. <laughs> hours of traveling we have finally touched down and checked in to our hotel in the philippines in manila yep that it, taxi only cost three quid yeah so the taxi took about 10 taxi. 10 15 minutes the yellow meter taxi um and it cost and it got lost yeah it so would have been cheaper but he didn't have any internet on his phone <laughs> he used it all and we didn't buy a sim card from the airport because it seemed a little bit pricey uh, from what we've seen you know like online and stuff so we're gonna have a little look around now it's currently like 8 p.m at night 30 degrees yeah hot i'm gonna go up to the century mall which is around the corner from here Central City Mall, which is around the corner from our uh, Agoda place. Yeah, so we just just arrived right here. Um, we didn't film anywhere walking just because we're a little bit wary. Um, it's quite confusing. And it's dark. And it's dark, and we just find our feet before we do. Anything. And we're starving. And we're starving. So we're looking for somewhere to eat. Um, and for some other bits. It might well. be a case of getting something from the supermarket and making it back at the. Um, hotel, and we need a SIM card if we can find one. George, he was totally moving it from me. Um, so we'll keep you updated. So we're in the supermarket, we're going to get some water. Jordan's getting this coffee. Looks horrible, but it's 15 pesos, so that's like. 15 pesos, now. it's ridiculously cheap in a supermarket. And look what we do. Great fun, though. I'm going to see how much it is because they're a ticket, because budget and stuff. Uh, we're just going to find some food, some snacks, and then head back and plan Mac what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah. Hi guys, oh, what a faff. So we ended up getting food and we got some snacks, wherever they are. Yeah, some snacks. And then we've come back to the room, the hotel. We have a little fob, a little card, like a little key card that you put in to turn on like your aircon and your lights. Sorry. I saw a um, lizard on the wall now, I'm really scared. Um, but yeah, so we we have a little key thing that he's put on the lights. Well, Jordan took it out and obviously took it with him and looked after it, and he's only gone and lost it. So I'm currently sat in the dark with no aircon on, on my own in the room. The door's locked, so I'm fully safe. Jordan's going to walk back now to where we've been and just see if it's been handed in or if it's dropped it in any of the places that we've been. Hopefully he can find it, because if not, it's 500 peso which is like seven eight pound in english money so it's a little bit of a faff when you're on a budget and you're traveling he only had one job and he's already ruined that so the stress continues i'm going to sit in the dark absolutely sweating and just try and tidy all this mess because i was just looking at that and that's the torch on my phone because i was just looking through see if there's anything I could get rid of because my bag's quite heavy i doubt he's gonna find it because someone would have picked it up i doubt they i don't know if they would hand it in so jordan is back <laughs> he's come back empty-handed but as you can see we have light and aircon i haven't got a sweaty face anymore yeah jordan didn't find the card no one job he had one job to look after the cars and he hasn't found any he hasn't. He's lost it. Oh, well. So God knows where it is. But Jordan did go back to the um, shopping place. He even got one of the cleaners. He asked him and the cleaner was like, I think I've seen it. Went to the bin and like emptied the whole bin. Yeah, bless him with his bare hands. I was like, no, you don't have to do that. But he did anyway. So we've had to pay. We've had to pay for a new key card. It was 500 peso. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So that is about eight pounds. That's like tomorrow's meals that we've had to pay for today. Jordan is doing this. 
vlogs is good. Uh, hey. Tomorrow we fly to Cebu. We'll see you guys in the morning.